people welcome back to my youtube channel so um this video will be about of the coolest one of the coolest and easiest website builder service to be honest i adore this service and it helps me a lot this is very useful interesting and modern website builder and i work with lead pages almost of my time so many projects i've made for myself and for my customers with the help of this actually editor with the help of this service lead pages and actually i decided Decided to make this video episode and show you all how you can create a perfect landing page for your project, for your customer, uh, even for yourself. So watch this video till the end. And as always, I'm waiting for your likes, shares, and comments. So, lead pages offer several dozen template landing pages, which you can sort by conversion rate. A conversion rate relates to how many people click the call to action button on your page and are completed the form on the landing page. It also indicates the industry of each landing page so you can find a template relevant to the need of your business. And actually, here uh, we have many templates. Uh, you may use them, uh, you may rebuild them, uh, redesign them and uh, it's very simple in using so uh, to be honest you uh, actually I would say th these templates they are standard but you can change them and to make uh, with if you have your personal portfolio your product you can actually rebuild it redesign it and it won't be uh, actually a standard template because it will be your landing page personal and that's why I decided to show you all I want to prove you all that you can do this with the help of the lead pages so first of all we have have many uh, templates right here and um, uh, let's start uh, our journey with uh, the editor and one thing I adore the most uh, with the help of the lead pages you don't need to have any tag skills any design skills maybe you need to imagine in your head and you need to have actually content I mean uh, visual content images for the background um, images of your product or even of yourself so you can buy images uh, in some stocks or you may do them by yourself so for example we have top five apps list uh, let's check this preview what we got right here so the first this is the version for the desktop and basically here we have uh, only two sections and don't be so nervous about if you have uh, on a template only one section or two sections because uh, to be honest it doesn't matter sometimes uh, it's enough uh, one or two sections in the landing page it's enough for your product sometimes it's it isn't enough and you need to uh, make many sections so basically this is the desktop here we have uh, actually CDA yep and actually uh, that's only one uh, I would say not two, oh, okay two, two. <laughs> we have two sections and that's how it looks uh, on mobile phones so why not let's start our journey with um, this uh, actually template and click it directly to the bottom of using this template we will uh, uh, we will start our work with the editor of course but first of all we need to give the name to our page so um, <laughs> what would be I need to think just a little <laughs> okay I decided that I don't want to change anything so let it be five apps uh, for your phones yeah so um five um, five apps for your let, let it be smartphone okay this is the name of our page it's too large a name but okay let it be and okay this uh this is the place where all the magic um, or a game begins so you may play around with all the settings uh so actually this is the editor the editor is intuitive it means that you don't need to know um to learn rules uh how to work with these settings uh so as i told you it's intuitive you may uh do this by yourself just to think or just watch my video episodes 
um, on the left side we have actually tools and so the first one is responsible of course of the pages layout so basically it shows us how many sections we have right here desktop mobile apps uh, the next one uh, these are the sections for example if I would like to add the section about call to action but I don't need to call to action because here we have a bottom here we have a bottom and here we have a bottom we have three bottoms in all three sections so I don't think that it's appropriate right now uh, contact us uh, FAQS we have right here you know, some features I would love to add for example some features right here because we don't have them um, okay and just let it be just right here why not yep oh we have features to be honest okay I see it I see it <laughs> okay uh the next one what we got from the section hero um logos yep and it's very interesting to add a logo for example yep um <laughs> the next one what we got plants and pricing yep uh we got testimonials if you would like to add some blocks, some images, so you may do this uh, just right here. So basically that's how you need to work with uh, the editor. But let's start from actually uh, from the first one. Uh, okay, get the list, get the links mobile. <laughs> I think it's double trouble. Okay, delete. Okay. So basically, uh, it's better. So the five best apps for life hacking. Um, everything is good. I would say here we have the image. Uh, if you don't like, you can uh, add it to the other one uh, image. But to be honest, I would love to add a change a background. So clicking directly to these settings. So we, I would love uh, to add the image and let this image will be uh, like right here. Yeah, the five best apps for life hacking. And it looks so modern, bright more interesting yep more tasteful so right here we can uh, change I would say the colors so it may be red but to be honest I don't think red is a perfect color so let's um, make it yellow one yep uh, so the other thing uh, you need to play around with the fonts of course uh, if you want to change uh, I mean um, <laughs> make your template different from the standard one of course you need to play around with all the details I mean with the text with the backgrounds uh, with the fonts with the bottom with the color of the bottoms fonts and everything so you need to play around with all these things um, I would love to change for example uh, just right here to Lato yep and we can make it bigger just right here okay a little bit okay I think it's too big but let it be and the next one if we have Lato the next subheading should be um, um, <laughs> like this one uh, so I've changed the font to Libre Franklin. I don't know what is it. Libre Libre. Okay. W uh, whatever. And here we can make it just a little bit bigger. Yep. And in case if you'd like to, you may change. Uh, I mean the color of uh, the text block. And to be honest, what if we do? Okay. So. <laughs> Okay, what we can do, I would love to add the color, to be honest, and let it be the color, what if it will be, uh, <laughs> what if it will be green color, to be honest, it's very interesting, why not, and I would love to change, okay, the size of the text. Uh, okay, also you can change the font settings right here and um, then, 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 then the tax should be purple one. Okay, you don't see the purple one. So uh, text once again and what if it will be just white? Okay, it looks better, I guess. 
So basically that's how you should work with all this uh, stuff. This in case if you would like to add um, <laughs> the other picture or in case if you would like to change the background. Uh, so you need to play around with all these images. All these icons uh, you may change into the other ones but you need to download them uh, from the other services to find uh, I would say uh, a combo of uh, these icons and for example right here if you see that two sections it's not enough you would like to add the other sections you may do this just directly right here you have for example, here we have a blanks, um, tags, blocks, um, <laughs> testimonials, plants and pricing. So I think appropriate right here just to add plants and pricing, but uh, it shouldn't be so, um, <laughs> I would say, um, big. So, uh, okay, once again, drop right here. Yeah, plants for all levels. Uh, so if you think it's just right here you may do this so actually you may change everything you may add uh, I would say uh, <laughs> duplicate just right here so you just need to play around with all these things for example if we have five best apps uh, you may uh, actually locate these five apps and um, just to uh, write a price right here or if you just think it's not good uh, we may play around as, as I say and uh, we can add for example feature services <laughs> or what well, we have uh, contact ask <laughs> I would like to add for example a testimonials yep about actually the reviews about this application um, about these five applications and it's interesting I would say so uh, we may locate it just directly right here and change uh, uh, the images of these people or if you think that these three people it's too much so uh, we may change this one I would say into this one or uh, for example it, mm, it it may be not only, uh, I would say, as uh, a testimonials, maybe it should be your slogan of your company. <laughs> kind of, yep. What slogan should be? Um, <laughs> for example, we will change your life. Kind of, but uh, here it should be located, um, it should be located as a slogan. Uh, we uh, will change or we will make your life easier it should be better we will make your life easier so this size yeah um okay what if we located okay um <laughs> here <laughs> and um, here so basically that's how you can play around uh, I would say with all these things and I would say it should be okay column number one number two section style uh, top bottom Okay. Left. Okay, maybe five, five, just right here. So, okay, I didn't mean to do this. Maybe right here, arrow border, bottom, top, none. Let it be at bottom. Timing control, no. So actually you see how uh, I changed all these things. So you may play around with all of this. Uh, you may change the color, you may change the fonts. Uh, so let's check the preview how it will look like uh, on the desktop version.
So and basically that's how it will look like. And um, you can see that it's not so difficult as you imagine it. So you can uh, create your personal landing page for your products. Um, and I assure you that you don't need to have any coding skills right here because you don't need them actually. You have templates and you play, you are playing around with all these things just right here. So actually this is the end of this video episode about the lead pages, about the lead pages editor. I would like to thank you for your attention. I'm glad that you watching my video episodes and I always waiting for your comments and see ya in another video. Wish you good luck with the lead pages and bye.